Queen Anne Furniture Style by Alyssa Pickering and Tyler Powell. The country of origin was England. Queen Anne's reign ended in 1714. However, this style of furniture did not become popular until later. The custom of social tea drinking that developed in Queen Anne's period produced a need for small, movable chairs and tables, as well as for china cabinets. All about Queen Anne furniture style. The single most distinctive feature of her style furniture is the use of the cabriole leg, which is shaped in the form of a double curve. During this era of furniture, the tilt top tea table was first made. Queen Anne's furniture brought in light, curvy, and dainty type of furniture. Some typical features would include curved lines, restrained ornament, cabriole leg, the pad foot, tilt top, and hinged drop leaf tables, and the chairs had yoke-shaped top rails and horse-shaped seats with down-curving ends and solid vase-shaped spots. Some typical materials used were walnut, maple, cherry, and brick. Some examples of Queen Anne style were the hinged drop leaf at the very top, and it, they were made of maple, had pad foot, and the cabrio leg. Some more examples were the curved lines on the tops of most of them. This is made of cherry, which was popular, and the pad foot and the cabrio leg repeated in most furniture. Some even more examples. This is made of cherry, which is a variation. The cabrio leg, the pad foot, and the curved lines were repeated also. Even more examples. Made of cherry, like the others, pad foot, and cabrio leg. In conclusion, Queen Anne furniture style is mostly known for using curved shapes, the cabrio leg, cushion seats, wing back chairs, which made them very traditional pieces. The furniture is made out of walnut, maple, cherry, brick, and other variations. This is the era that the tilt top tea table was made. Queen Anne furniture is smaller, lighter, and more comfortable.